What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and we are back with more gameplay from the new troop in Clash of Clans, the Bowler. Now we did celebrate the release of this new dark troop with some mass bowler attacks, there's an annotation on the screen for that now, and there's also one for how I've been using him with Valkyries, but let's get into some more gameplay testing him out just for a bit of fun on Sherbet Towers. So I'm not the best attacker in the world, but my thinking for the bowler is that we really need to be utilising that second bounce to take out defences, almost snipe them off. So my initial thoughts were trying to snipe off back end defences, but the main issue you have is that you have to ensure the initial building has more hit points than the one behind it, otherwise you're not going to take it out. So you'll see here I'm really trying to utilise the bounce from that initial building to take out the air defence behind it before I put my jump spell in. Now I know that wouldn't have any effect on this raid since I'm using ground troops but just trying to get used to his AI. But they did successfully take out them air defence and from quite a distance. Now let's flip this from the back end defences to setting up a raid. Let's say you were going to use hogs if there was a barracks on the outside of the base then a cannon followed by say giant bombs. You might be able to snipe off a cannon and therefore alter the pattern of your hogs with only a troop space. Likewise on these horrible defense ring bases that aim to send your golems or giants around the side, you might be able to break the defense ring a little bit easier with bowlers. So they're just a couple of different angles that I'm thinking we might be able to implement him into strategies to actually use him efficiently and not just throw him into your army composition for the sake of it. So we have fell a little bit short of Sherbet Towers with all bowlers, we're gonna have to use the heroes to finish it off, but just thinking back to the start when we were testing the AI, they did manage to get their air defence down from quite a distance. Now I know the wizard towers were causing them a little bit of grief because you have to get the angle right in order to get that second bounce onto the defence, so you have to line it up. But if a base was set up where you could do that and take out air defence that were a little bit deeper into the base, that might be more efficient than using spells in order to then set up your air attack from the opposite side. So thinking about the raid itself and not as much about the AI this time, let's see whether we can take down Sherbet Towers with all bowlers. I think the main issue was, obviously we don't have anything to tank for them, they went down rather quick and I was trying to take out the second layer of defences before I put my jump spells in. So the wizard towers were giving us a little bit of grief, let's put the jump spells in straight away and then we can try and spread them out a little bit better and also I've just brought all heal spells on this one to try and sustain their health a little bit. In they all come from the same side. I do quite enjoy watching 30 boulders just plowing through a base. Put in the heal spells already just to keep their health up. The boulders are really slow because they have to carry that boulder around but they are strong enough to jump over a wall. Answer me that one guys. Now this is looking a little bit better. I've put my haste spell in to try and push them into the middle here. We're getting decent second bounce damage onto the defences and they were actually doing great work there taking out that wizard tower from a distance because it doesn't have a great radius. So that's another thing to think about if we're doing with lava loon style attacks and we have that extra wizard tower at the end where our balloons are going to start to clump together instead of taking that extra balloon we might be able to take a bowler and eliminate it all together so we don't even have that issue so that's definitely something we can try out and at least have in our toolkit but you'll see the remaining bowlers are going to go down again here so a little bit better but we've fallen short on sherbet towers and going to need the heroes again to finish off this base but at least we've had a bit of fun you've got to see some more bowler gameplay and we've had a little bit more thought on the AI of the bowler troop so things I'm going to be working on is trying to see if I can snipe off back end defences or even use this to set up any kind of attacks again the wizard towers and any defences with small radius could be something that we can use this troop for to really help with our attacks so that's going to wrap up the video guys for the new dark troop the bowler Make sure to share with me any successes you're having with the bowler. How are you using him? I'll be interested to find out what you guys have been doing because this is how, as a community, we're going to clock out how to best use this new troop. I am sure that within time people will come up with some real innovative ways of using him. I am looking forward to some of the high level war guys showing how they've been using him. But that wraps it up for the video today. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans and until next time... Peace out guys, stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.